So um, our goal with the class was really to have the students have a, a hands-on design process. So we had them start everything from soldering their, their own printed circuit board, um, then to moving on and building, designing in SolidWorks, which is a, a 3D computer-aided uh, design program. The rules. We should try. Um, Phil or yeah. They took all the information they had to program it to run for the final challenge, where they had the capture the flag style game. <laughs> The robots were looking at something called gold codes, and gold codes are, are used uh, for, for GPS positioning and, and other things, um, but basically they're putting out some sort of, of, of signal, and the uh, robots could, could actually read the signal, and then they had to use uh, some pretty, pretty interesting techniques uh, to process that signal, uh, figure out whether or not they were the, that beacon was claimed for their team or not, and if it was claimed for the other team, they needed to go and program their robot somehow to, to go and, and claim that for, for their team. So basically the goal for E11 is to um, implement our robots in a capture the flag game, and what you want to do is have the robots go around this board here and essentially hit those bumpers and what our robot is doing right now is wall following using um, distance sensors on the side and in front of it. So it'll go all the way around the board. So it's kind of like a balance between using the distance sensor well and using the photo transistor well. So we use two distance sensors. There's one here on the front, which is angled slightly to the right in order to keep it from getting stuck in corners. And then we have this one guy in the side. I don't know if you can see him but he was looking to the side. So with these two distance sensors, we could keep track of what's in front of us and what's to the side. Yeah, so there were uh, two different beacons. One beacon was for your team to get, um, and then the other beacon was for the other team to get. And so each beacon was flashing a unique uh, binary code. It was about 4,000 times per second. So you couldn't actually tell that the beacon was flashing something, but it flashed uh, the lights in a certain pattern, and you had to program your robot to pick up only the uh, lights that were flashing for your team. Uh, the best part was the creativity at the end when you're allowed to just make whatever robot you want, fine tune it, you have free range of everything and you have the help of the professors in case you need it. So everyone's on the same level and everyone's trying out new things and you see people try something and you're like, oh that's a good idea, or you try something and you realize it doesn't work and it's just, you really feel like you're in control and you're not just following what the teacher says, which is fun.